Hey, I'm a lovely arrow. So I know it's been a minute. Um, I'm coming to y'all straight from my car. Um, at my little man's uh, kickboxing class. So I'm gonna make it quick. Uh, but I gotta get it in when I can. You know what I mean? My three babies, they keep me busy. Um, but anyway, so I came across something the other day when I was going through papers and cleaning up. And, um, I brought stuff to my attention that I think needs to be talked about that everyone's kind of scared to talk about or don't know how to talk about but anyways with no further ado um it's a scripture that used to be my husband's favorite scripture um i think a lot of us came from religious backgrounds or were they we grew up in the church and then um me personally me and my husband we got very serious into the church um but um as adults after we had our children and now um i'm super grateful for that experience because it let me it gave me the opportunity to learn a lot of the things that i'm going to be discussing with y'all and so this scripture again it used to be my my husband's favorite and um he will eventually relearn it because he's a warrior and that's what we do you know we um we improvise, we change, and we fight. So that's what we gotta do, guys. We gotta we gotta fight for our rights. We gotta fight for who we are and what we are. We gotta we gotta make a stand. So um, this scripture was. It starts out. I am crucified with Christ. Hey, you gonna sit your booty down? I am crucified. So I am me. This person. I am crucified with Christ. And so crucified meaning a cross. A cross can be your arms, your legs. Um, that was a lot of the time back in the day referred to as a cross. Um, people were referred to as a cross. I actually have a paper that my kindergarten uh, son last year had from school and it actually says, what if you were a plus sign? So we were referred to as crosses um, back in the day. And so when it says, I am crucified, I am in the body with Christ, with the divinity, with the spark um, of life force energy um, that is within all of us in our heart. Maybe that's why they say cross your heart because that's where the spark started. So I am crucified. I am in this body with Christ, with the spark of divinity that's in all of us nevertheless i live not yet i but christ the source energy life force energy lives within me and the life which i now live in the flesh in the body i live by the faith of the son of god so i live with the faith believing that i am a son or daughter of god i am a son of god because I have the life force energy within me like we all do. So I am crucified with Christ. Nevertheless, I live, not yet I live, but Christ, the spark of divinity, life force lives in me. And the life which I now live in the flesh, I live by the faith. Faith of knowing that I am the son of God because I am a part of it and it is a part of me. We are all a part of each other. We are all one. Who loved me and gave himself for me because we chose to be here and not only do we choose to be here but the people before us they chose to be here to show people the way to show people which way to go and so who loved me they loved us enough we loved everyone enough to come down here and show them um show them how to do it show them love because that's that's what conquers all and that's how we're able to overcome and that's how we're all able to evolve and so i live by the faith of the son of god i live by the faith of believing that i am a son of god because i am a product of god i am the life i am part of the life force energy light energy that is god and so who loved me because he loved he loves all of us right god so loved the world who loved me and gave himself for me and then we all chose to come down here which we are all part 
of life force energy we are all sons of god we all chose to come down here because he gave him he loved me that he gave himself for me that's beautiful we are all part of each other and we all came down here to help each other and the people before us that are in religion um you know um they came here for us that's why it says in scripture that i came not to be served but to serve and so why are so many people around the world um serving a person when you should be serving yourself because you are that life force divinity source part of source and so you should be serving yourself um and you should be serving others because just like jesus said um and and again i appreciate i appreciate all the teachers before us i don't believe his name was jesus but i appreciate all the teachers before us because they gave us this guide to to help us to show us the way even though it was tweaked a little bit you know they the the, the gems are still there if you're willing to dig it's like how bad do you want it and you have to fight you have to fight not only do you have to dig you have to fight because people aren't people aren't saying this stuff people don't want to say this stuff because it, it's been taught otherwise for so many years so i just want to challenge y'all to be different stand out and speak your truth because you know sometimes you got to read between the lines to find the truth sometimes the truth right in front of you but it's all about the perspective or the way you've been taught it that that they can just change up one or two words and it makes something say something completely different and it makes you think of something a completely different way um so i just want to encourage y'all to relearn you know even though you've been taught a certain way learn for yourself and let's not teach our children what to think let's teach our children how to think because they're so powerful that they're going to be able to go off of their intuition because they are amazing beings and so let's teach them let's teach them how to think and not what to think i want to i want to um encourage y'all to unlearn what's what's already been instilled in you and and go within and see what resonates with you um that's that's about it uh, that's all i wanted to say now guys if y'all want to go in more into that scripture um it's galatians 2 20 so y'all can look it up or whatever i think this is king james version because that's what my honey likes um but yeah i just wanted to i just wanted i just wanted to bring that to y'all and i wanted to give y'all the option and you always have the option you always have the choice to take control of your own life and what's going on around you and be, not be so focused on um, everything that's going on outside of us and let's go within and see what's going on inside of us because I guarantee you we can get a better answer that way um, you know uh, so just I want to encourage y'all to choose to change change to improve improve to evolve I'm Lucy and I love y'all